um, kind of in hindsight, or not in hindsight, if Usyk was to win that and fight Tyson, would that be the one of the biggest fights of all time, being as that Usyk's obviously been at Cruiserweight? Uh, undisputed. I spoke to Krasik, obviously Usyk's promoter, and he mentioned that he would. Obviously, he's going to say that. But what do you make of that fight? Yeah, I, I think that somebody like Usyk, who's not tiny, very well coordinated, very agile, very intelligent. He's a he's a he's a hard like hard man to beat, and he's trouble for all of the big guys, all of the big guys, um, as we as we've seen. So. I think probably still, whether Anthony Joshua loses or wins, Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua is probably a more lucrative fight and a big fight still, probably. But, of course, Usyk goes and wins this fight. Him against Usyk, him against Fury, him against whoever is, is a massive fight. Two more. Uh, just Those are the words, once again, of Ben Davison as he signs or co-signs the fact that Alexander Usyk and Tyson Fury would be a very huge fight, you know, uh, but with a twist, okay? Uh, but first, the Usyk-Tyson Fury fight would be very important because I think uh, despite the financial side of it, okay, I think for the diehards, uh, for Fury fans, for everyone that supports the Ukraine, okay, in its time of need, I think that fight will be a lot bigger than people think it'll be. Why? Because those two fighters are the result of winning, okay? Those two guys are going to be, that. they're the end guys. They're the two kings at the very end of the road. And they're, they will both be undefeated, and whoever wins between those two will be undisputed. OK, so I think, you know, if you take the financial upside or, or comparison out of it, just throw it out of the window. It will be a fight where you will see then who is truly the best heavyweight that we have in this generation. Bar none, hands down, because Joshua's been beaten. Wilder's been beaten. Once upon a time, there was only Joshua. There was only Wilder. And they're both out of this equation because this equation consists of two guys. Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk. So if Usyk does beat Joshua, yes, Tyson Fury needs to do that. He, he owes it to everyone to come back in, which I have another video of Bob Arum speaking on this, which is very interesting. Okay. And I think people would want to watch that fight for that reason, especially if you are a heavyweight lover like I am. Now, Ben Davidson did say, hey, listen, um, I still think if Anthony Joshua loses, it will still be a bigger money fight or a bigger fighting means, which means a bigger money fight than Usyk versus Tyson Fury. Um, I can't argue with that. Why? Because it's Anthony Joshua. Okay. De La Hoya had losses, but he still was the cash cow. As a matter of fact, by the time he fought in Floyd, um, money Mayweather, OK, he had lost to Trinidad and um, um, Sugar Shane Mosley twice. OK, and I think he lost to someone else by that time. Yeah, he lost to Bernard Hopkins. So he already had four losses. OK, I think he had six total, but I know he had he was beaten a few times before or over a few times before he even fought Floyd, which was a still a huge money fight. So what did it matter? OK, what does it really matter if that guy keeps fighting? But one thing I would have to add to that, if that fight is going to be what they think it's going to be, if Joshua loses to Usyk, Joshua would then have to do and make a comeback because he's lost two fights back to back, just like Wilder. So probably who would he need to fight? Uh, Wilder. <laughs> he would have to fight someone like that because to, you know, to, to at least show where he's stacked. No, you're not better than Usyk because Usyk beat you twice. You never fought Tyson Fury. The guy we wanted you to fight and the guy we want to come back in the sport of boxing, you know, he needs a dancing partner. So I think these guys should switch dancing partners, and I think that's how that should go. I think Tyson Fury should fight Alexander Usyk for undisputed, that war over there, and I think another war should be raged between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, both guys, both ex-champions, both lost back-to-back, 
both lucrative, both popular, both highly ranked still to this day. I think those guys need to get in the ring and fight each other. And who else and, and whoever wins that will then come uh, out victorious or then fight that person. So let's say if Wilder beats Joshua and then Usyk beats Fury, then Usyk and Wilder could end up at the end of the road. And a lot of people looked at me like, how the hell you figure J uh, 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 Wilder's going to fight Usyk? Well, that's how it could happen. I just explained it to you. Okay, so, but 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 if Joshua wins and then Joshua fights and, or, and Fury wins, that fight will be big because then Anthony Joshua has done something and a, a, a sense of accomplishment to redeem himself. Then he comes back. Then he comes and fights Tyson Fury. Okay, and then I think that fight will be worthy because these guys have not tangled ass, <laughs> right? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Ben Davison thinking that Joshua, even if he loses, will still be a bigger fight than Usyk Fury or Fury Usyk. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.